Uh, Santeni sana wana media for offering this opportunity to give a, a youth a chance to explain to Kenyans who I am. Uh, so many people always ask on the internet who is Brenda Kangai. By the way, I'm the real Brenda Kangai and karibuni sana kwangu. At least tumekuja meona malinaishi and that is good. So those people who are asking who is Brenda Kangai. Brenda Kangai is a young female politician. She comes from Mount Kenya region. I always call myself mtoto wa mlima Kenya ama mstana wa mlima Kenya. Or even those who would want to say the daughter of the mountain. That is good for you. I'm a business woman. I'm a young mother. Um, I believe in rule of law. I believe in democracy. I believe in human rights. Brenda Kanga is the person who speaks whenever there is something that a voice needs to be raised so that it can be rectified. And that's why I always stand whenever Kenyans need me, especially this time when the high cost of living is pinching each and every Kenyan, I feel that Brenda Kangai ame kwa kwa yo front line. So with the description of who I am, I think Kenyans now know who is Brenda Kangai. And in fact, those people are asking for Brenda Kangai. Previously, I was not a, an internet girl. I didn't love social media. But due to public demand, I opened all social media accounts. So in case you want to know more about me, you can go on my Facebook, on my Twitter, on my YouTube, um, and, other so and TikTok, and such is Brenda Kangai. At least once a week, you'll be getting one of my episodes. That is Brenda Kangai. Okay, uh, Brenda, ni, uh, labda ulijiunga na siyasa mwaka gani, na labda ni kitu gani, kilikupa potisha kujiunga na siyasa? Uh, I joined, uh, I did my KCSC in 2014 and I joined the Kenya School of Law to do a diploma in law in that year. So, kwa yo pilka pilka nikuwa KSL, I uh, used to move around town. Nikapatana na bunge ya mzalendo. And I joined, I was so concerned about how watu wanongianga siyasa, wanongianga nini, because kutoka utoto wangu, I've always loved politics. So, nilianza kujiunga nao, that time it was bunge la uzalendo. I learned a lot, Actually, I was shy. I wouldn't even speak. But with time, I started. Whenever there is a motion, ilikuwa na inuwa mkono, na jibu maswali. So, hivyo kidogo kidogo, nika jipata nimekuwa perfect. Na mi mwenyewe neza leta motion. Na neza fanya watu wachangie kulingana na motion fulani. So, that was in 2016. And then in 2016, I felt that I needed to join a political party. And I joined, I joined ODM. And I became a life member till today. In 2017, I vied for an MCA seat. I won't say where. But I didn't do well because I was young. I was just, I think, 19, 20. I didn't know a lot about materials, about mobilizing. So I didn't do a lot. I was just a young girl who was trying a lack in, in politics. So, si kufanya vitu mingi. Nilienda tu kwa ballot. And in 2022, I tried to vie for the women rep of Nairobi County. I uh, went through the ODM nomination process, but unfortunately, somebody was given a direct ticket. So personally, I had told myself I wanted to know how many votes would I get as Brenda in Nairobi. So mimi nilijipeleka kwa Barot. I went there as Brenda Kangai. And um, after kwenda kwa Barot, I got sick. So I didn't campaign. So many people didn't know me during the campaign period. Because I, I after I did, my, I, I finalized with uh, IBC, si kupata yo chance ya kukampaign, ju nilikuwa mgonjwa. So I was in and out of hospital. So yeah, but I call, I say there is another day, kuna 2027, I'll be there, I'll be on the ballot. I think I get a chance to ask Nairobians for, for vote at that time. But saizi tunangangania uchumi. We are struggling to make sure that the cost of living is low so that even the lowest less person that who is in Mukuru Kayaba, Ako Kibera, Ako Madhare, can afford a meal a day. So at the moment, I am not campaigning, but I will vie for Nairobi Women Rep seat. But at the moment, we are helping Baba to ensure that Kenyans get an affordable life. Okay, Brenda, uh, you've been supporting my life for some time. So you've seen me talking like, 
pale TikTok ni Brenda everywhere <laughs> Uh, the last time we use him and the last time we learn that your baba is a pig or mau and your bear defending him, kongea, and so many people ask themselves, why do you do that? Does baba pay you to do that? Or why did you decide to now to stand? You want to defend Raila Odinga in this? Okay, what I need to say is, first, your manda mano ya Friday, the first one, not this, not the second one that baba terminated the kamkuji rally. The first one, I was there. I went there with my car and uh, it was very peaceful. Let me just start by saying it was very peaceful because uh, tuli, tuliingia kamkunji vizuri sana. Tukaanza kuongea kama vijana, tukapatiwa nafasi. Watu wakamaliza kuongea Raila akakuja, akaongea na akatupatia chance. Actually in that rally I spoke twice and everything was good until the pro police provoked innocent Kenyans who are speaking their voice everything was good so kuna kitu naweza taka niseme about Raila Odinga paying us to support him Raila Odinga is an international leader he does not need to pay anyone for him to be to be supported whenever Raila raises a motion he raises a motion that it's a motion to help people. It's a motion to bring change. So you find people of goodwill will finally join him. So what I want to say is that Baba alipi mtu yoyote. Now, by the way, mkiangali hata nyinyi wana media, maishi mekuwa ngumu. Ile sukari tukwa tunanunua kwa inzi ya uru na 250. It is 470. Unga imetoka 160. Imefika 260. Ndiyo hiyo token ya mia moja nikiweka kwa hii nyumba haiezi maliza one day unanielewa so hakuna mtu Raila anaambia ende kwa maandamano ni watu wanajitolea kwa sababu ya shida zao wa Kenya wamefinyiliwa and Kenyans need to raise a voice so when baba comes with we are doing this sisi ni kumuunga mkono kama vijana wa Kenya kwa sababu tunataka inchi yetu ikuepoa and especially me a young leader Nataka nikitetea demokrasia ni ensure ule mamako pale korogocho ule mamako madhare ule mtu anaweza pata 200 a day 300 shillings a day at least mtoto wake atapata kitu ya kukula huyo mtu atalala nja cause tuangalie ukweli tuseme watu wa media ile kibarua kubwa sana mkenya wa kawaida mwenye ajasoma anaweza pata anapatanga kibarua ya 500 shillings 300 ama ikienda sana on a good day 800 Shua ali sukari ndo imepanda unga imepanda huyo mtu akona watoto akona rent atajisaidia aje so we need to raise our voice ili address hata kama baba. by the way wacha niwaambie sasa hizi hata Raila akienda akae kwa nyumba yake Karen sisi tutatoka nje kwa sababu maisha ya wa Kenya it relies on the hands of the youths of this country baba amezeeka in 10 years time atakuwa retire sisi ndo tutaachiwa inji you want to tell us to witness tukikuja kufinyiliwa tuseme tumenyamaza juu baba yuko baba amerita ya hapana sisi hata kama Raila leo hii atakaa kwa nyumba yake kama wa Kenya tutatoka nje tuende tuambie wananchi tuende tukatetea haki zetu tuende tukadai kilicho tulichoaidiwa wakati wa election during campaign period mimi niko na wanarutwa kizunguka all over the country anasema mimi nitasimamia mtoto wa Asla nitashughulikia mama mboga mtu wa boda boda nitamshughulikia hii na hii nitashughulikia but at the end of the day Uyo mtu wa boda boda ndio ana chakula. Uyo mama mboga ndio ana chakula. So tuwezi nyamaza and as a young leader I have to get out. And in fact next week si maandamano ni Wednesday. Thursday na, na Friday. Mimi nitakuwa mstari wa mbele. I'll be there. And imagine all the youth of this country get out in large numbers. Because if we won't stand out, we won't stand with our country. My friend, things are going to be worse. And the moment you realize somebody is a dictator You don't baffle a big dictator with intelligent. You baffle him with bullshit. Okay, That's what you do. To add on that, you being um umekuwa mstari wa mbele sana to support Thailand and this thing has been happening. Kuanda mm maana -hmm. ijaanza saa hii. You guys have been doing that and now mm -hmm. tujaona change. So uh, maybe ni message gani uko nayo kwa Ruto now that bado next week maandamano iko na in 3 days. Wacha wacha niseme hivi, msiseme maandamano ina change. Maandamano iko na change kubwa sana. And in fact this country it's where it is because of demonstration. 
Let me take you back to history. When we, are fight, we were fighting for the multi-party democracy, some of us, we are not born, like me. But I am here. I read the history books. If watu hakutoka nje wakapigana na, na uyo katire likuwa na itua moi, wakapigania demokrasia, kungekuwa na chama moja saizi na itua kami. So kuna watu ambao walijitolea, wakatoka nje, wakasema enough is enough. Kenya need three, four, or even 20 parties so that it can make bold decisions. And Moi was against that. Awa watu wakapigana. Moi akakata wakaenda kwa mandamano. Ndiyo hiyo time walikuwa nafanya saba saba and, and what and what and what. Nini hizo vitu zilifanyika back in 1991, 92, 93. And finally, motu So, mwizi nyambia mandamano ina fruit. Mandamano ikona fruit. And in fact, I'm telling you, Baba, mandamano ya siku tatu itakuwa next week. Next week, but one, demonstration will be Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And even Sunday, we will not go in church. We will go to demonstrate. Until change is seen in this country. Because all we want is change. Mimi, by the way, ni wambie, leo hii, rutu wa kitusomea kuna unga. Two kgs. Unajua kuna watu nataka unga ya miyamoja na msini. Mimi nataka unga ya 52, Bob Ruto. Kama ukutaipata, hiyo ndiyo nataka. Two kgs at, at 52, Bob. Mimi nataka sukari ya 160 bob. 1 kg at 80 bob. So, I think mimi personally kama Brenda, I want that woman I represent. Uyo mama kochini, akitoka kibarua, akitoka kufua nguo, mtoto wake anapata kitu ya kukula. Mtoto wake anapata school fees. That is what I want. Na tutaambiwa kuna pesa when money is being rooted day and night. Atuwezi ambiwa inchi ina pesa. Kwani taxes na kolektuwe zipeleke wapi? And another thing, William Samoy Ruto, you lied to people, you are an asla, honestly. Sukwe mzuri, acha kudanganya na jina ya mungu buwana. Unajua hata kama tuta kupani, mungu siku moja aneza kufanyia miujiza, upate unadanganya na mdomo yende kombo. Ok, so, mwendo, umesema unitajunga ya amsina um, mwili, mm. lakini reisa aliku njira kutuka ona, nisema kombo, serikali ya handshake leta hawa makara yote. Kwa hiyo nasema kwe uh, nafasi na wakenye ukuwa na suzi rakomba uh, ata rekebisha kila kitu na ume itashuka chini. Uh, there is something I love about when I hear people speaking about Anshik. Anshik government between Uru and Raila, it has brought a lot of impact economically to this country. Only a fool cannot see. And in fact I want to tell you the mess that was seen in Uru's government. And I want to say this. Your mess haikuwa ya Uru. The mess was for Ruto. Ruto is the person who lied to youths. In six months time, I'll build a stadium in Wote. I'll build a stadium in Chuka. In six months time, every child in this country will get a laptop. I didn't see a Uru here saying like that. So, ata tukiendelea sana. William Samoye Ruto ni sawa unaraumu that... Uhuru muigai kenyata, serekali yake na anshik, ilifanya kitumbaya. Let me ask you one question. If I'm not wrong, Mr. William Ruto. Who was you in that government? Was you not the second in command? When all these wrong things were happening, did you raise a voice? Did you tell Kenyans that we are going wrong? You know, you can't tell me, ativitu zinenda vibaya, na we mwenye umekua kwa hiyo serekali, umekua deputy president, umekua ukienjoy rights, Zawa, za, zawa Kenya using their tax and then all of a sudden unakuti unatuambia hapa mimi nilikuwa deputy president ati kumiaribika na mimi sikuwa aje Ruto stop lying us unless you lie my mother who is in who is, who is back in Kiambu Kondani but you cannot lie me and uh, in fact I want to tell Kenyans mimi najua si shida yao unajua ta hii kuto, wa Kenya kutoelewa mandamano ni nini si kuto kupenda kwao let's be honest the most enlightened Kenyans, they are those who are born from 1985 kuenda juu. Juu at least na education. Some most people in this Kenya are illiterate. That way wanasikia mandamano, wanaona ni kitumbaya, juu liambiwa. But in real sense, mandamano, ndio inafaitia democracy, na ndio ina shape the country. And the only way, and the only language William Ruto can understand, it is mandamano. William Ruto si mtu wa kukalisha kwa hii kiti chini. 
mjadiliano umwambie fanye hivi na hivi hata wewe unaota hata kuja kukwambia hapo sijui upige biashara za za mayai na kuku zenye ujui zitazaa lini zenye ujui zitaleta faida lini so what i want to tell kenyans mandamano is good it is good and and uru muigai kenya hata kuna kitu mbaya alifanya and in fact and i want to say this live in cameras ruto you have tried to paint uru as a bad leader and i want to speak as a young girl from 